Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Happy because it's Friday. <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> You're not uh, happy? I'm just exhausted. I'm not tired. I'm exhausted. So yeah. tonight, you have to do the class tonight. <laughs> Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> you have to. Do you know how many hours I have worked today? How many? So far, 15. 15? Oh, you must be. I mean, since yesterday, uh, after the class, I I stood working until 4.30 a.m. taking calls. Really? Oh, my God. And then... I started my shift at 5, finished at 12.30, <laughs> and then I spent the whole afternoon looking for some refaction for the car, which I didn't need. But thank God, you know, I didn't spend more than $2 buying a little piece of metal, and everything's yeah. good. And everything's good. I, I just came back home at about 4 p.m. and I repaired I repaired the car and it, and it started and it's working again. So I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, let's do this. Today is Friday. is the last day of the week for you. Tomorrow is Saturday. You, you're going to sleep after this. Go to bed easily. Oh, my God, the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Elvin is falling asleep too. You tired? Yeah. Come on. Well, things are good. Things are good. You know, um, the last call I took today, uh, Heidi, um, it was from an elderly woman. It was an elderly woman. She was 76 years old. Yeah, she was like, you know what? I took a call from somebody and he he sold me. He sold me eight cards, eight cards, fifty, one hundred dollars. And he was like, help me, help me, buy these cards for me, buy these cards for me. And I bought the cards. And guess what? He spent the money of my cards. Hmm. It was a spam. Hmm. But then she started. Um, well, there was a dog on the background. Hmm. Very, a very old dog. Hmm. He was barking like. Rrr, rrr. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? Right. And she was like, oh, excuse me. I have a very old dog. <laughs> And we started laughing. The call was like one hour for one hour. And we were... They speak a little bit slowly. No, no. She was Wait, no? Really? very fast. The problem was, the problem was that I, I understood her. I mean, we had a great conversation. She's from Canada. Um, I mean... At the end, I told her, you know what? I'll take care of this for you. I will recover your money because that's what we do. I will recover your money and I'm not telling your husband. 
don't worry. And she was like, oh my God, how do you know? He's gonna get upset with me because I spend our money. It's like, oh my God. That was so funny. And how do you do? You got any insurance for, for those yeah. cases? Mm -hmm. Yeah, insurance. I mean, there's a there's an investigation bureau, you know, on the background. Mm -hmm. uh, there's law enforcement, law enforcement um, investigating too. But that's afterwards. I mm -hmm. mean, first we have all the bureaucracy, 30, 60, up to 90 days until we give you a resolution. We put the money on mm -hmm. a new card and we send you the card by regular mail. Oh man, that's it's a lot of time for car holders. But in the end, they recovered their money. I mean, maybe the 99% of times they get the money. You know how it is. There's a lot of videos about that, Haiti, on, on YouTube. People from India, they call and they scam Americans. I mean, but I don't know. Oh. I don't know why. I mean, if someone calls me and, and tells me, I have your wife. If you don't buy these cards, I'm going to kill her. I mean, I just call my wife right here. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what? It's unbelievable. But anyways, life. And we're starting. It's 8.06. I'm going to do the attendance first. And then we're going to go with your homework. What homework? Homework. What homework? You have homework. Fresh. Remember? Mm -hmm. the open the, question the open question okay before we get there Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza present teacher good evening good evening thank you doc Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto oh who's person. who's Joan who's Joan oh come on Johnny really I heard you <laughs> I, I wasn't looking at you but I heard don't do that <laughs> don't do that right now please I beg you okay let's keep going Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. Elvi Garcia de Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, teacher. Don't fall asleep. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Hey, there you are. Welcome. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Great. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. He is not here. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Okay. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. It's Friday. I'm not here. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Ok, hoy no viene Werner, necesito alguien que se quede por 10 minutos, se los aviso desde ya para que vayan pensando quiénes se van a pelear por quedarse de los que están en el estado. Yo voy a mencionar unos nombres, espero que alguien se quede, ok. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Thank you. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Irene, 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 not here. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. There she is. Bien, traten de encender sus cámaras, please, as long as you can. So, tonight, we're going to start with an open question. 
<clears throat> yesterday you made open questions in groups, but now is your turn. Who wants to be the first one on this dynamic? If you do it today, you won't do it tomorrow. So what's your open question? <laughs> okay. Go Tomorrow to the... is Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Thank you. For Monday. Que para eso son bueno. For Monday will be. Yeah. Google knows everything. Come on. An open question. Fernando, choose somebody. Uh, Johnny is very, very happy to be here. Jenny. Johnny. Jenny. Oh, Johnny. I was like, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> yeah, Jenny's got a gun. Jenny's got a gun. Johnny, what's your open question? Okay. Um, I don't know if you buy uh, the new biker, electronic biker. <laughs> yeah, the new electronic bicycle. Ba bike. 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 Yeah. Okay. What's your you What's your open question? Um, the dog ate my homework. <laughs> Come on. Come on, really, Johnny, choose somebody else. Guys, it's a very simple question. I can't believe it. Uh, Elvin. Elvin. Elvin is very disciplined and very organized, responsible. Okay. The, the question the question uh, today is uh, how, how how has technology helping in time of the pandemic? Okay, how has technology helped Help, helped in time of pandemic? Hmm. Okay, so how has technology helped in time of pandemics? In this pandemic time, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Is that okay? Shall we, is that cool? We got it? Yes? Okay. How has technology helped in time of pandemic? Anybody for an example to answer this question? Uh, for example, um, uh, Many many people use the technology uh, uh, by uh, uh, use different platform or uh, social media. There are marketplace, for example, or uh, uh, use um, deli delivery. But there are the, there are different app you can use to uh, deliver. Excellent. I'm curious about something. How has marketplace grown during pandemic? Hmm. 53% year over year. So it is growing 53% year over year every year since the pandemic this is crazy over more than the housing growth that's big growth so that's the idea uh how has how has technology helped in the in time of pandemic how has technology helped in time of pandemic okay let's start with that question shall we it's just 10 minutes don't stop talking. That's your mission right now, okay? Then we're gonna jump into the topics for today's class. Four groups, let's go. Of 
of today is Friday. <laughs> Tomorrow, relax. Going to relax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. up? Shall we? Okay. Okay. How uh, how has technology helped helped in time of pandemic? Well, uh, for me, it's, it it was the really help help uh, the technology help us because if you see many of technology companies uh, they build they they grow a lot because the technology was uh, was a, a lot demand like a, like a, that kind of chat uh, like a zoom and other chat like um, Google and meet uh, that happened because uh, and the pandemic doesn't permit us to have a, a direct connect with other people. That's why the technology was a bridge between us. Okay. What do you think, Alexander? Okay, let me think. Uh, yeah, the technology was increased, it has been increasing until now because uh, the most of the, the most of people in the world is using it to, to through video video chat or even when when he needs to buy some things, they actually use the technology every single day. Um, and this is good because this is like uh, this are this is educating us about how to use it and how technology is good is not bad at all like some people can could think and and how to use it is the most important thing because we are going to in in a in another century right another like uh, another time or <laughs> another world or a digital world yeah. okay we're moving to a new era yeah, yeah that was so yeah. <laughs> you're we're so inspired <laughs> Hey, technology was a long demand. Technology had during technology had a long technology had a great demand, a huge demand. It doesn't permit us to direct connect. How would you say that, Caroline? It doesn't permit us to. I mean, technology doesn't permit us to direct connect. What it means? Uh huh. No. What? How would you say it? In your own words, how would you say this sentence? Technology doesn't permit us to direct. The technology, connect. The technology permit us. The correct words. The technology permit us. Uh, oh, allow um, us, allow us. Uh, allow us for a, uh, uh, well, the, the early. Okay, coach. but you were trying to say that technology, uh, no, 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 the pandemic doesn't permit us to directly, yes. to directly connect with other human beings. I got your point. Join. Very good. Maybe join oh, the correct word. Correct. Um, to get together, yeah. Face to face. Face to face. Okay, to be face to face. The most of people, come on. Most of people. Sounds better. Okay. Most of people that are how to use it. How to use it. 
Remember, it, subject, et, object. Okay, continue. Miguel, uh, Caroline, Elvin, Ada. No, I'll be young. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that those who knew how to take advantage for the technology grow, grow, growing the marker because uh, today there are many ways of doing business. Uh, the people that uh, make to present uh, the proof of life, I, I guess that is the name, the proof of life or survivor, I don't know, in the AFP. Uh, and now you don't have to go to the AFP. You only make a, a call, a video call. You don't have to um, go out of your house. It's easier for the people now. What do you see, Juan Francisco? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, the technology help, help, we, uh, help, help us in the pandemic, um, in communication, and for, for example, uh, uh, I don't, I don't, visit my mom, but uh, I, I made a video, video call, video call with, with her. Um, the, I, for example, I don't visit the restaurant, but I, <laughs> Come on, you done? Yeah. Yes, we are done now. We already, everyone already provided. Just now, just now, we, we finished. So everybody already provided their opinion. It's provided opinion. their opinions. Mm -hmm. yes. So tell me, hmm. Talk to me, how has technology helped in time of pandemic? How did it help? Well, in my case, uh, I, I was starting working from home. Uh, the technology uh, got, gave me the, the opportunity for working from my home. And uh, also, I, 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 I took a class, uh, English class offline. I started English class, started English class online. And uh, I, the, the, the meetings with my coworkers was all online. Uh, we, we had to, to handle uh, uh, many application for that. And mm -hmm. not only for meetings, we had to learn another application for project management and another technology that that uh, was uh, useful from useful for, for do, useful for for doing our, our job. Good. Okay. Okay. I trust you. You're right. Give me just a minute. Okay. We will be back. Okay go out from your work, uh, hurry up to the class. And uh, besides the, 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 the journal of the class, I am I'm very lazy about <laughs> moving to <laughs> one place to another. Okay, okay. I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, I got it. Uh, yeah. See, just, mm -hmm. Johnny, you get used to it a virtual class. 
And I prefer to the light in light. Contact. Uh, um, I, yeah, the contact with the classmate, my classmate, because I can share many things, express my emotion. <laughs> and wow, so it's more funny for me <laughs> than virtual. <laughs> the contact. Contact. Because you are younger. I am old. <laughs> I prefer to live 100%. Maybe one day. Um, discover the you say cura, <laughs> cura, <laughs> la cura del COVID. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> say anti anti. Okay, ready? Who wants to be a volunteer? Nobody, I know. Okay, Heidi, what's your favorite color? Okay, your mic. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh -huh. my favorite color is red. Red. Oh, Ada Susena. Okay. Ada Susena. How? How has technology helped this time of pandemic? How has uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think the facility, the communication with my friend, new friends and my family and learning and uh, facility the learning and in my case in specific, I facilitated the consult online and request the food and meet the new people, new opportunities, and new change. And, and my important is to uh, keep up healthy, the people and the family. Only teach. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Ada, very, very good. I think the facilitate, I think you were trying to say, I think it has made, make things easy. It has made things easier for us, right, in many ways. True, okay, uh, select someone else, Adita. Yeah. Miguel. Mike, Mike, Mike. Yeah, I saw Mike. Yeah, Miguel Angel, are you here? Here, teacher, but I have a problem with my computer. For this we, reason, I have. We can hear you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How has technology helped during the, the pandemic? Okay. Well, I think technology uh, before the pandemic was considered very necessary to, to exit. Uh, I think technology has um, very important for a long time. For example, now you buy everything online, you study online, um, you work online, in, uh, even you, you have your money in a digital wallet, for example. It, uh, 
now uh, we we do everything from a phone or a computer for example you can earn money with application you can sell product uh, from a, a phone or computer well in in this time of pandemic i i prefer to do my things from home using technology to to avoid catching coronavirus for example because it's very difficult i i have I have cared to my, my, my family, oh, only, only that teach. Hmm. How else do you say only that guys? How else do you, do you say just that? Just that. Just that. So? I taught you many times how to That's say it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, Mike. We have an issue with the TH. TH, Mike, homework. Look for words starting or having the TH in the middle. Remember, TH yeah. equals a Z. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't say think, you say think. 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 Every, every, everything, you said everything. 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 Mm -hmm. Be careful with the k -k at the end. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. I can hear. Do you hear it, guys? Everything. K -k -k uh, everything. Again, Mike? Everything. 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 There you go. Everything. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Products. Look at me. Products. Mm -mm. Products. Product. Products. 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 Better. Products. Uh huh. It's a k -k -k, not a t -t -t -t. product. There you go. My things from home. My things again. Things. My things from home. Yeah. Okay. And last, I have care to my family. Can somebody help me with this sentence? Hey, Dene. So I take care. I take care of my family. I need to take care. I have to take care of my family. I have to take care. I have to take care of my family. Okay. Good job. Let's keep going. You see, that was very simple. Just one question. You talk for a few minutes and we come back. We listen to some of you. Okay. On Monday, do the same. Okay. So let's get this going. Let's get this rolling. What do you remember about yesterday? Where were we yesterday? Where were we? Branding. Mm. Branding. What was your favorite part of the class? Not the whole class, but vocabulary, you know, something that you learned, Alexander? About branding. Uh, the concept about it, and you know, the branding is about um, your like logo, your design, uh, how you can, or well, how you can, will like to be perceived for the people. How you will like to be perceived by your consumers, by your potential. Yeah customers okay perfect good job someone else what was your favorite class of yesterday's mm -hmm. and i wasn't here teacher i was present <laughs> but not there yeah. okay okay uh, maybe the the impact that caused a, a brand in, in a enterprise or company or a person the com the impact that a brand has oh, or no the impact that a comp that a brand has ah okay has uh huh in a company or uh, ca causar como se dice causar it cause mm -hmm. cause cause the impact that a brand causes 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 the impact that a brand causes in a uh, company in a company or Yes. Hmm. I would just need the same bring up. 
yeah how the brand affects how the brand affects the company and its employees uh interesting part uh, how do you get engaged with the brand of your company because this is not something that happened well actually yes there's people in this world that falls in love with the brand of a product or a company that they live their life trying to become an employee of that company does that ring any bell does that ring any bell who did yeah. that who did that there's many examples for example in my case, uh, many developers want to, to, to work in Google, for example. You got it. Yes. There are many developers, techie people willing to work on Google. But do you know why? No. Okay. Another Benefit. homework. Yes. Another homework. Google, and, and not Fernando, but go to Google and find a video on YouTube named best place to work, Google complex, best place to work, Google complex. You're gonna fall in love. I'll send you the link to the chat as well. But man, working in that company is a dream. You don't, you don't wanna go home. They give you an electric car. They give an electric car. If you have to do errands, you know what are errands? What are errands? Mandados. Yeah. Mandados. Perfect Spanish. Yes. If you have to do errands, you can get a card, an electric card from the company. You can wash your clothes. You can wash your clothes in your job. And guess what? All the food is free. There are like five different restaurants inside the, the company. They even, they even grow their vegetables. They grow their vegetables in the complex. It's crazy. And if you get tired, you can go to a capsule, a Google capsule. Have you seen the Google capsules? It's like an egg, an egg, and you go there and you just listen to music and relax and you can sleep. Would you like to work in a place like that? But they even have a direct happiness, right? You get direct happiness, hey, but they don't I get heard. they don't get paid. Mr. Poole. <laughs> hey, this face is like <laughs> what? You don't get paid? <laughs> yes, they get paid a lot of money. A lot of money. It's crazy. I mean, I, I don't, I cannot think about another company that gives so many benefits to its employees. Now, remember what I told you external customers and internal, internal customers, right? Customers. Don't forget that. So, what company would you love to work for? Don't say Willy Wonka. Hershey's. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Hershey's. Okay, that's a fantasy from every kid, right? Working for yeah. Hershey's. Maybe in quality control, taste all the flavor of chocolate. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> this is good. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure. Wait. Man, all day eating chocolate. Would you get tired, yeah. Suleyma? Uh, about chocolates, no. Really? Okay. Yes. I, I can eat a, a complete uh, bag of Hershey's in one day. What? You love kisses. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, me, <laughs> me too. Me too. But I, I get sick if I eat too much, too many chocolates. Okay. So get the point. A brand is capable of take you there. A brand is capable of take you there. There is one brand 
without, a, well, there is a name, Los Eduardos in Santa Ana. You named it last module. I know, I talked about this last module. Yes, you mentioned. <laughs> I mentioned it. What's the bakery? <laughs> uh -huh. Los Eduardos <laughs> in Santa Ana, Haiti, everybody. Sandra, if you go to Santa Ana, look for Los Eduardos. Why? Now that I think about it, this brand brings okay. me back, brings me back to my childhood. So every time I go, my brother is coming tomorrow. <gasps> He can bring me some bread mm, because it brings me memories from my childhood. Does that happen with you? Does that happen with you? Tell me one thing that takes you back in time. Tell me one thing that takes you back in time. Gomiletas. Gomiletas. Yoguetas. What, William? I don't know. It's a candy, like... Yeah, called Jogueta. Joguetas. Is that like gummy bears? No, like a. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lollipop. It's a lollipop. With yogurt. Lollipop. With yogurt. With yogurt. Yes, yogurt. I'll look for it. That sounds interesting. Okay. What about you, Ada? What takes you back in time? Chupavecitos. Mm, yes. Yes, Ready? you guys. <laughs> oh Ready? my God. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Peanuts. Peanuts Peanut. with candy. Oh my God. What about, um, how do you call this? The, the hard apples, you know, with sugar. Mm -hmm. Sweet apples, I guess. Yeah, sweet apples. Apple red. No, sweet, no, apple. No. sweet apple, sweet red apple. Yeah, that, that, that was that was bad. I mean, when you were a kid, you could break a tooth. A tooth. Okay. Uh, what else? Tistes. Did you try tistes? You see how Salvadorian, how Salvadorian is your teacher, right? He was always talking about chuco, chilate, jocotes, right? I don't know what is a twister in my in my yep. last my previous job. Uh, the the uh, some coworkers that are older than me uh, mentioned that, but I did I don't know what is a twister. A twister. <laughs> you just told me old an old man. <laughs> okay, twister it's okay. was really really delicious. I <laughs> I like just what was it, Suleiman? What was it? I don't know. It's like a we we don't powder. know. That's the worst part. We don't know what was it. It was cocaine with sugar. <laughs> no, no, it was powder. It was it was flour. You know, flour for cooking. Okay, sugar, white sugar. You know the white sugar that they put on the on bread. That that was it. That was it, man, our childhood, right? Okay, so that brings you back in time. So that heavy it is. Okay, let's move on. Pollo Campero. The old Pollo Campero. Do you remember the glass ketchup bottles? The glass ketchup bottles? Yeah. Oh my God, that was the real one. Not anymore, let's move on. So tonight we have to continue with branding. Um, this is unit three. We started with page 25 yesterday. We're gonna move on to page 26. Yesterday we talked about the importance of, of strong brand. Now, if, let's see if you remember about yesterday's, you know what, this is not gonna work. Let's see if you remember about yesterday's um, conversation let's answer the questions together let's do it together it's this page 25 so what product is Josue selling page 25 diapers Diaper. only diapers diapers excuse me what is a diaper Ivan Ivan, what is the diaper? Define diaper. It's gone. 
he's gone. We lost him. Okay, Josué Alberto, what is a diaper? It's clothes that maybe it's used. It's clothes that maybe it's used. Simple, very good. What is an appealing characteristic of this product? <laughs> what is an appealing? Environment friendly. Environment friendly. Environment. Okay, mention another appealing characteristic, Sandra. One more appealing characteristic of diapers. You have you have kids, right, Sandra? Um, algodón. Um, cotton. 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 Why? Softly. Mm. No, no, no. Wait. Let her think, Sandra. Why is cotton an Appealing characteristic on diapers. What is appealing? They are fresh. All the mothers, all the mothers in the group, all the mothers in the group. Do you remember when you had babies? What was your wish? What, what did you want from a diaper? <laughs> I don't remember, guys. I have three. <laughs> I have three. Yeah, to be to be able to absorb to absorb all the liquids. Man, that was crazy those days. Okay, I think that's the most important characteristic. Okay, is the target audience audience interested in buying the product for sweat cells? No, it's not a phone. Is the target <laughs> audience interested in buying the product Josue sells? Mothers. Oh, mothers? Mothers is a target audience? Babies. Babies? Okay. Parents. Mm, parents. Parents. Parents are, but the question is, are they interested in buying the product? No. Why? Page 25. Yes, they are. Yeah. How? Why? Because it says that people is buying from oh, a lot of people than, are buying than, from here rather than getting mm -hmm. more sold at the supermarket. Okay, so Josue's products are good. Okay, what does Amy suggest? That call them no brand. Oh, to call them. Amy suggests to call them. Amy suggests to call them no brand. Have you ever heard of this marketing strategy? The no brand no. marketing strategy? Really? Yes, it's your, yes, it's your, how, yes, it's how is it? Irwin, tell us. It's like, like a, in Spanish, okay? Uh, sure. Marca Blancas. What? Really? The white brands is the same? It's a, yes, it's the same, but the history isn't like the, oops, 80 years old in the United States. Many company don't have a brand and say that white brand in the United States, mm -hmm. but 80 years ago, many years ago, but in areas like Japan, Korea, and China, uh, there are brand, there are product without brand, but the customer are different than the American people. Their culture. Their culture is different. Yeah, and the culture is different. Why? But uh, I think the, 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 the Asia, uh, Asiatic men, the Asian women, Asian men, yes, Asian men, Asian women are different. So different with American people. American people is American and Europe person. Mm. So different. But there are not many brands without, uh, there are not many company without brands in that company. It's a few, few brands, very few. Okay, but 
how do you prefer a no brand product? Ah, in El Salvador, but in America, for, for example, that I know, all company has brand, all company. For example, if you buy, but you will, you will find, uh, for example, uh, different, different, different products with high performance and low performance. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you visit Super Selective, you will find Danny and you will find Selective brand. This is the own brand of the retail. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you visit in the United States, for example, uh, the Costco, Costco, you will mm -hmm. find the our brand, the Costco, because in America, all the people want to see the brand, and the logs in America, the, uh, if you will have a bad brand, you can call the company, or you can visit the company. If you had a problem with the brand, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it the loves in America? Of course, of course, yeah, that, yes, that's yes, true. Yes, that's true. Yes, yes. But in in Asia, is few few company with our brand. ATG. Oh, wait, just let me understand. Danny is a white brand. It's a, It's no. It's a, the second sequel. Second sequel. It's the sequel. Yes. In, in, in the world, all retail, we have a, our brand. Okay. Yeah? It's a strategy. A strategy it's a strategy. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. Okay. It's a strategy. It's, okay. Uh, in the, in the, for, for example, price match have your own brand. True. Sel selective. Member, member, member's choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Selectors have that, Danny. Um, drum, um, drum. Uh huh. Uh, like Walmart. Walmart. Have you own um, brand? What's the brand for Walmart? Uh, that expensive one. Sully? Sula? Sula. Sula. Yes. Yes. Dura brand, I think, too. This is the uh, marketing institute. Because the, the factory don't sell the communication. Great value. Yes. Great value is from Walmart. Yes. Yes. Wow. Hey, one applause. One applause for everyone. <laughs> and, uh, but in, in, in many years ago, uh, 80 years ago, United States, this began. But with our brand, the name is uh, Marca Blancas. 80 years ago. Hey, let's Google that. That's very interesting, but, don't you but, think? But the love is so difficult in America. But in Asia, it's different. It's the personal is so different. The customer is so different. And so well, I, I support your idea, but raise your hand yeah, okay. if you are loyal to one brand. For example, women, what's your favorite mm -hmm. rice brand? San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> I knew it. San Francisco. Isn't it San Pedro? No. No. Oh, it's está, not. Estás San cambiando Pedro santo, is... hija. <laughs> <laughs> Así es el anuncio. <laughs> yes. It's not San Francisco. It's San Pedro. It's the same. Okay. Um, Precocido or white? <laughs> Precocido. Pre-cooked? Pre-cooked, really? Yes. Mm -mm. White. <laughs> I prefer white. Okay. Uh, easier. Easier. Let's see. Men. Men. What is... Men is so difficult with us. What is so diff... What, what is your favorite beer brand? You're loyal. You're loyal to one brand of beer. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't drink. I, I don't drink. Nobody, nobody drink. No, no, no. I drink. Jose Antonio is so quiet. Okay, no drinking this year. No. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> it's Friday, guys. 
I'm not drunk, okay? I'm just tired. Okay, so we got it. You're loyal to a brand. Let's face it. Sugar, I mean, you always, you're always lawyer. Why did I go back here? Okay, hold on. Next, um, for this topic, we're going to move to page 26. Unfortunately, I cannot play some videos on the class. And there is a reading about branding. Do you want to read? Yeah. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll send you the link to your WhatsApp. Please open it. So, oops, oops. Okay, so we can all share this together. Talking about promotions. Promotions, but inside your company, there's an article called Stand Out for Success, The Secrets of Self-Promotion. In this classes, you're learning how to scan, scan an article, scan a post, and find the most interesting parts for the class. So in this article, you will find subtitles. Give me one second. Okay, subtitles like get noticed in your company, talk about your results, be an industry expert, build a customer network. These are the four keys of the secrets of self-promotion. Self now, think about yourself as a brand, okay? Be creative. What are the secrets to become the top brand in the market? And relate these topics to that Let's read together, understand a little bit, find new words, okay? Let me know if you find any new word. Okay. Okay. Thank you, let's go. Or someone is back to you. Okay, good evening, guys. Hi. Hi. Okay, we have to talk about it. The brand. Yes. Okay, remember that the teacher is saying how the brand win a third position. Come on, let's stop. The teacher, the teacher is recovered. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I think I think they're. Re are you reading, guys? If you're reading, it's okay. I mean, but share what yeah. you're reading or make everybody aware that you are reading the article. Okay. Are great at working hard, keeping our heads down, and doing a good job. We've earned more colleague degrees than men since the mid 90s. Today, nearly 40% of MBA students are women, and we're close to 50% of the pay workforce. So we're being reward for those support, right? You've read, read the stats in Fortune. Uh, 500 firms 
15% of senior leaders and 3% of CEOs are women. Only about 10% of women-owned firms receive women. Women-owned <laughs> firms receive equity, capital, and or equity. elected official equity. Equity, capital, and our elected officials are overwhelmed. I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 Write it yeah. down. Overwhelmingly. 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 Male. Overwhelmingly male. Okay, what's the root? What's the root for that word? I mean, and that's not a word. What is the meaning? That is an adverb. It's abrumadoramente. Ah, come on, Google. Yes. <laughs> Overwhelmed. <laughs> Overwhelmingly. Yes. Oh. So what is the root? Overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by your beauty. Overwhelmed. Estoy abrumado por tu belleza. Oh. oh. God. So romantic. <laughs> Another one. Uh, Suleima, uh, Carol, not you guys. You. <laughs> you <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You overwhelm me. You overwhelm me. Me abrumas. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay, keep going. Overwhelmingly. Okay, okay keep it up. You see, you can find new, new words, new words. <laughs> Good. Okay. Teacher, too difficult. It's time to realize that our careers operate under very different rules. Sylvian Hewlett's research on women and careers shows that men outscore women, hands down, in understanding some critical real, real realities about career advancement. Women, the study found, are likelier to feel that hard work alone is the key to, to the top. Mm. And that means we often underestimate the value of being visible and well-connected in an organization. Through this, in most companies, you're probably not going to get ahead just by doing a good job. To get promoted, you first have to promote yourself. What? Talk about your accomplishments, get, our, get out there within your organization and industry and build a supportive network around you. So try these four self-promotion techniques to make sure your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Man, this article is so interesting. Are you getting new words? Okay. Teacher, what hey. is rewarded? Rewarded. Rewarded. Mm -hmm. When you get a prize, when you win a prize, you get rewarded for a job well done. So, Wendy, you were the best employee of the month. I'll give mm. you a hundred dollars. That's your reward. Oh, is the same a bono? Maybe. Mm. Recompensa. Okay. Uh-huh. Who is Spanish? I know. I know. Yeah. Remember the West, the, the wild, wild west, and behind Oeste, the wild, wild west. They used to put these signs, you know, with the picture of people. Oh and said, yes, rewarded. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should have said that right <laughs> instead I, of using in Spanish. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, thanks. Keep it up. Mm. 
Oops. Don't pay attention to that. And yes, at the same time. On little like little like link like link like link. Thank you. Twitter and then Facebook anywhere you you connect with professional content and use those platforms to communicate about what you want to be. Now, for uh, I, I, your strategy, marketing ideas, not your Friday, Friday night activities. Beyond the virtual world, you can promote yourself as an expert by writing, writing or speaking about your area of expertise. Industry publication and websites of often need contributor, con, how do they contributors? Contribu um, contributions. Contributors. Contributions. Okay. Check out the guidelines for the ones in your field and propose a topic or submit an article. Okay. Or consider consider giving a presentation at an industry conference, and don't wait to be invited. Invi invi invited. Invited. I'm sorry. Invited. <laughs> Contact the organizers and propose a topic or ask about a panel you'd like to sit sit on. Sit on. Sit on. Build a custom network. Boy, <laughs> boys cloud networks are time test platforms for men to help each other advance their careers. So where are the girls clouds? They're out there. But the real action goes beyond industry and alumni alumni groups. Alumni, alumni groups. Alumni groups for women. It's often not about finding, finding, finding a O. Established club you can join. Instead. Established club. Established club you can go, you can join. Instead, you may have to create your own network, your own web of relationships with like-minded people. Whether it's five people or 50, consider how you can create or foster a group that's dedicated to sharing resources and helping each other succeed. Consider a now famous group of female healthcare exclusive executives who came together in the 1970s to regularly share information about their industry their goal was to help each other become visible leaders in their organizations and fields. And they met and shared ways to promote themselves as well as to promote one another. Uh, and it worked several at uh, this woman, Sandra Fenwick, Judy Kurland, Linda Shan. Shavitz. And, and, Shavitz and, and Lei Ulia 
are still in CEO role today. They're developing a new network of relation, relationships. Now we'll try to create long term career value, both for you and your fellow. Career, career value. Uh, career value. But for you and your fellow participants, hard work in the foundation of success, but it's not enough. If you're going to get the opportunities, you want to need to make those stellar results by support to others. You don't just keep your head down, get it out there where other can see it. Remember, these are the new rules. An expert in managing and oh, no, 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 mm -hmm. that's all. <laughs> Great, okay, what did we understand? About mm. self promoting. Self promoting. Self promoting. Uh -huh. Like making our own our our own brand. Mm -hmm. Women power, right? Women power, exactly. Women power is, is okay. like a trend since how long ago, Heidi? Irene? Since how long ago is women power a trend in the world? Mm. I I guess about the 90s the 90s in our in our country in our country maybe in the 90s what about the world 70s maybe 70s i can remember if it was the 50s when women started their how do you say um syndicatos <laughs> Mm -hmm. They started the syndical groups for women liberation. For this reason, we celebrate the day international day for women. For women, 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 really. women, women. The That's March the reason. 8th. I, I, I'm not sure, but, but I think so. Okay. Good. Yes, women are free now. It's over the 50% on labor. It's more I mean, women, yeah. more or most women you see on the street don't wear skirts anymore. Do you wear skirts at work, Haiti? Uh, for uniform? Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> okay. No. But you prefer okay. pants. I prefer pants. Yeah, all women now prefer pants. And they look good. I mean, a woman looks good in everything. That's reality. And it's not like us, right, Juan Francisco? <laughs> we just we just gave up a long time ago about dressing and looking at ourselves in the mirror. Okay. That's <laughs> not for us. Let's go. Okay, after 10 coffee cups, I'm ready to continue with the class. Let's continue. <laughs> 10, 10 coffee cups. What's the most, uh, Ada, I want to hear this. How many coffee cups can you take in one day? What's your record? Mm. Ten, ten. ten coffee cups. Sandra? Sandra doesn't like coffee. How many coffee cups? One. One coffee cup a day? No, but what's your record, Heidi? 
Why am I asking only women? Five coffee cups? Guys? Five. Who's an addict? Who is another addict? I'm an addict. Who is another Me? addict? William, what's your record? Just a uh, uh, Eight cups. Eight cups, okay. Wendy? Nine, teacher. Nine. Elvin? Yeah. Elvin doesn't like coffee. No, you see, <laughs> you don't like coffee, don't, right? No. That's, that's why Elvin is so calm, relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need coffee, I need coffee. Okay, you don't like coffee? What do you like to drink, Elvin? Other than water, uh, I mean. No, uh, yeah, water and some Thai soda, only Fanta. Soda alone? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey, go to the chat. Give me the words that you found. You cannot repeat the words of a classmate. Go to the chat in Zoom. Here in Zoom. Okay. Likelier. Andres Giovanni wrote likelier. This is the super, no, it's the comparative of like, likelier, alumni. That is, if I'm not mistaken, that is Latin. That is Latin, alumnado. Unnoticed, unnoticed. Have you ever been unnoticed? Yes, my ex-girlfriend, I was unnoticed for her. Tenure, tenure. Who is tenure here at the company? Uh, who is Heidi? Yeah, Heidi's tenure. She has been working at her company for a long time. Elvin, are you tenure? What does it mean, tenure? Tenure, like you own the floor. You are a fixed asset. <laughs> You're a tenured employee, experienced employee. You have a lot of experience. Got it? Haiti? Yeah? Tenure. No? Ya tenés el derecho de piso. Tenure. Yeah. Okay. Newsletter. What is the newsletter? You have newspaper. What is the newsletter? Like a bulletin. A bulletin, yes, a bulletin newsletter is like the memo, right? Fellow, my dear fellows, is another way of saying friends, right? He's oh. my fellow, he's my fella. Some some British say fella, and that is common in Looney Tunes. It was that that that, that that's all, fellas. <laughs> that's all. Oh no, they they used to say folks. That's all, folks. Here is the fella. Yeah, it's a common thing. Bye, fella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bragging. <laughs> bragging. I like bragging, you know. Bragging about my Lamborghini all the time. You know bragging? bragging? Like show off? Show off. That's a synonym. Great. You got it, guys? Bragging? Like the last Coca-Cola in the desert. Very best example. <laughs> That's bragging. Beyond. Just like Jose Antonio Cubia's wallpaper. Beyond the stars. Yeah. Got it? Beyond. To the infinite and vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Toy Story overwhelmingly oh no wait overwhelmingly 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 what is that don't say it in spanish please abrumador are you serious yes i said don't say it in spanish overwhelmingly is abrumadoramente okay outscore what is outscore? A bad score? A bad score? Yeah. Negative score? 
And likelier, somebody repeated the word likelier. We said is the comparative form of like. Bragging is already there. Outlining, outlining. What is outlining? Probability, mm -mm. Resaltar. In a text. Underlining is On, Exactly, you got it. And scratching off, scratch off. Tachar. Hey, good job. Andres, great job. Scratch off, tachar. And that's a phrasal verb. It's a separable phrasal verb. Scratch it off. Scratch that off. So, oh, can you scratch that off, please? I didn't say that. Scratch that off. Thank you. Okay. You see a lot of keywords. Now, how is the... How is this excerpt? How is this excerpt, this post? compared to branding. Why, what is the comparison? Can somebody give me the comparison between branding and what you just read? Self-promoting. Mm -hmm. What brand is that cell phone? It must be Tigo. Can be, can be any, any branding, but we, that, that cell phone is from Claro because that have that tone. That's the tone from Claro? I thought it was Tigo. Yes, for notifications. Okay, thank God I removed it. Okay, I have Mario coin, Mario getting into the pipe, Mario dying. Okay, come on. What is the comparison between branding and self-promoting? Can somebody make the comparison? I'm falling asleep, teacher. Okay, good. It's very simple. Branding by itself, if you achieve the way of going upstairs in the market with your brand by itself, remember, if your brand sells by itself, you're done. You have your life solved your marketing is going to be easy cheesy you don't need to sacrifice a lot of things things are simpler but how do you achieve it how do you achieve a good brand okay there is something in call centers a saying in call centers if you want to be a supervisor or someone higher number one shine shine right jocelyn alexander yeah you have to shine, like shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> okay. Like a cobra. <laughs> like Rihanna. Shine bright like a diamond. You have to shine. What is the meaning of that saying? You have to get your numbers to speak Glow. for you. Let your numbers precede you, speak for you. When somebody hears Alexander, they go like, oh, the guy with the good scores, right? Yeah, that's that's or the performing. guy, the good performer, right? What is that? That's calling humans reputation. Reputation. Reputa reputation, please. Reputation. reputation. Yes, be careful with Arjona. Reputation. <laughs> it's very important. Do you think reputation is important? Yes. Okay. And what is the most important part of reputation in human beings? Being Body. respect. Being respected or respecting others? Both. Both. Being respected, respecting others. How do you Being define? Funny. How do you define integrity? Mm, yeah. How do you define integrity? A person who's got values and you can trust them. How do you know they have values and you can trust them? Because uh, for example, I like Haiti. 
Ada, you know, Suleima, eh, you inspire me, you inspire me trust. Okay, Fernando inspires me trust. Johnny, eh, he's too quiet. I don't know, Juan Francisco is too quiet. But how do I know if I can trust Juan Francisco, Johnny, Heidi, Suleima, I don't know. How do I know? Because if I noticed one thing, mm -hmm. I notice that they say what they do and they do what they say. Say what you do Tolerance. and do what you say. Read that, say what you do and do what you say. One of the four agreements. One of the four agreements. Oh yes, yeah, your book, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's one of the four agreements. You say what you do. You're always talking about your life. You know, oh, I have three kids. Oh, I don't drink. I have told you, I don't drink beers. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> and on the weekend, you see me at the Barre San Diego, right? Oh my God, the teacher. I didn't do what I said, <laughs> right? That's not integrity. You see? You got it, right? So the same happens with a brand. Reputation. What is the reputation of an Apple computer? Um, an I, iBook, no wait, a MacBook. MacBook. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that, that is uh, expensive. Uh, of, expensive. Optimized, yeah. Expensive, exclusive. Ex exclusive? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Because, for example, you can you can uh, uh, share for Bluetooth with iPhone to an Android, for example. You have you had not you haven't to to use the, the same protocol for transferring uh, files, for example. The same thing happens with Sony TVs. You cannot use a different cable if it is not a Sony yes. cable. No. That happened to me recently. I couldn't use an HDMI cable that didn't belong to the TV. It had to be a Sony HDMI. Cable. Yes, some some applications only 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 works on on Mac. Mac OS. Same, same thing, right? What about ah dura durability? durability. Yeah, Macs are really strong. They're really strong. Okay, and so on. What is the reputation of Windows computers? <laughs> Microsoft computers. Dell computers. Dell has a good it reputation. Has a reputation. Dell has good reputation. Yes. Mm. We have Dell equipment in my company. Everybody has Dell equipment. What did you used to have before? Well, Heidi can tell you in the bank, they used to have, they didn't have Microsoft systems before. It used to be IBM. IBM computers at banks, remember? Yes, I remember. And, and I'm so old that I used MCR. <laughs> <What? you> <laughs> MS2? <laughs> MS2, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Do you remember, Irene? No, Irene doesn't remember. Okay, so yes, that's the point. Reputation, good reputation, durability. What is bad reputation? Mm -hmm. A product with bad reputation? Bad quality. Bad quality. Give me an example of a product with bad reputation. iPhone. iPhone? For the battery. The battery of Samsung, five, no, Samsung batteries. No age because the battery was... Uh, the battery was, uh, exploded. In, in a, in explodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard that. Okay. And so on. So what creates bad reputation? That's the interesting fact, and I'm closing with that, my participation. What creates bad reputation? Bad quality, bad service. Yes. 
But you said you had good service. You said you had quality. When you don't do what you say you do. When you don't do what you say you do. Right? Integrity. You, I do what I say. I say what I do. Bad integrity, you know, or the opposite of integrity. You don't do what you say you do. Simple. Okay. Okay. Same happens with a product. So if you're selling a good brand, you better make sure that you accomplish what you're doing. Okay. That's the whole point of that reading, uh, that lecture. Okay. Today we need to build vocabulary and on page 26, you will find some definitions. Product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and cultural branding. I'll just read them. I'll just read them for you to review this pronunciation. And by the way, the instructions match the type of branding to its correct description. Compare your answers with a classmate. It refers to the practice of promoting the brand name. Okay, just in time, right on time. Okay, so it refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as opposed to specific products or services. Number two, it is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. Region. Number three, the practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands. That's interesting. Number four, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Hmm. And last, it is how a product interacts, I repeat, interacts with its consumer audience, I repeat, audience through design, through design logo and advertising. So match the definitions to the words with your classmates. You're gonna have 10 minutes to do this. You can do it. Let's go. Okay, so one can share the page, please. Twenty-six. Yes. Page twenty-six. Okay, someone can share the screenshot, please. Hey, someone okay, can share. You. Someone can share. A page. Twenty six. Teacher, did you send the screenshot at the WhatsApp? Can you send them, please? Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. I don't have a WhatsApp. The practice of people. Marketing themselves and their careers as brands for me is correct number two. Mm -hmm. Yes, it yeah. is. The practice of people. 
We have five and then one. Okay, the next one. Will be number five. Yeah, 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 for me it's number five. Cultural branding. Yeah, I don't know if you agree with that. Yes, I agree. Orientation um, about environment. It talks about location and nationality. So I think yes, cultural branding. Cultural branding. And the last one. <laughs> It's number one. I know the branding. <laughs> Design, <laughs> lawyer, advertising. Yeah, product branding. It's how a product interacts with its customer audience through design, logo, and advertising. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That sounds yeah, right. Yeah. Cultural branding, geographical branding. It is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. Mm -hmm. Let's see what your classmates have to say. Okay. Think twice, think twice. I, I, I think you're right. I think you got them all right, but let's see. Okay. Okay, we're coming back. We are ready, teacher. Yep. Yeah. Guys, I hope, I really hope you're watching the videos, the videos on the on the Prezi. Okay, out of the class, make sure you watch the videos. There's the next video is about a guy who owns, let's say the richest company in in his brand, in his branch, in his line of business. You know what's the the business about? Have you watched the video about the guy who puts names on product? No, you haven't watched it. It's on the presentation. It's on the Prezi. If someone, okay, if someone can share the the videos again, I mean the presentations again on the on the group, that would be great. That video talks about this guy who has a company, and let's say. Let's say I have this product, okay, any product, and I go with this guy and I tell him, I don't know what name I should use for this product. And he goes like, hmm, let me think. And he researches to see what names are already taken. And he gives you a brand, something new, something that he knows on his experience it will be a great brand. So watch that video, it's very interesting, it's amazing. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to your duties. So uh, this was on page 26, I send you the image. Go for it, go for it. Grab your 
Oh, come on, really? Grab your tool, sorry. Grab your tool from the annotation pad. Grab a sticker. Okay. Come on, let's do it. Wake up. Okay, let's go with number one. Product branding. Put your sticker where you think it goes. Just product branding. It is a how pro interacts with the Scots to consumer audience to design, logo, and advertise. Okay, so Ada says product branding is it is how a product interacts. Repeat Ada, interacts. Interacts with its consumer audience. Audience. Repeat with its consumer audience. With its consumer audience. Okay. Through design. Through design. Logo and advertising. Logo and um, um, advertising. 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 Better. Good. Yes, that's number one. Okay. That's number one, product branding. Okay, let's go for number two. Personal branding. What is personal branding? Andres Giovanni says the price, the practice, the practice of, disclaimer, of the people marketing. People. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. everybody is agreeing. Exactly. Everybody is agreeing to that being number two. Personal branding, the practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands. Mm -hmm. Do we all agree? Do we all agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, so that's number two. Let's go to number three, corporate branding. Corporate branding. It refers to the practice of promotion, the brand made of a corporate entity and opposite to a specific product or service. Wait, as opposed to specific products or services, corporate branding, it refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as opposed to a specific products or services. Oh, this is like when they sell the brand of the corporation, the brand of the company. The company is so big that they sell you the idea of the company, not just one product or service. Can you give an example of a corporate branding company that you may remember? Subway. Subway? McDonald's. Wait, wait, Subway. Yeah, yes. They sell Subways. Yeah, but they you can uh, ask for a license to sell Subway too. Hmm. So they are more, wait, it we went. Subway, the original brand, Subway. Yeah, yeah, but you can have a franchise. But exactly. That's yeah, that's branding too. Oh my oh my god, wait. So oh my god, you just inspired me. That's 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 corporate business. I mean, that's corporate branding, and through franchising your business, you're doing branding too. Wow. Wow, that's very heavy for another topic. Wow, true. Okay, so that is Number four, no, three, three. Okay, let's go with number four. Number four, geographical branding. Ada, what's up? <laughs> a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and the people of 
particular location or na nationality. Nationality. Hmm. Yes. Many people are choosing. It is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. Yes, that Next. one is the answer. That's four. Okay, that's four. Yes, Fernanda, that's four. Thank you. Okay, uh, and number five. <laughs> number five, cultural branding. A type of branding that develops reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Mm. No. A type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Let's think about a brand that does exactly that. It develops a reputation about the environment and people of a lo particular location or nationality. Give me an example, come on. Something that is very strong in a country and it only belongs to that country. Can we talk about pizzas? Where are pizzas from? Cola Italy. 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 Yes, Cola Champagne in El Salvador. Cultural branding. I don't know. I have my doubts between cultural branding and geographical branding. There's a doubt on me about those. Not just because it's a geographical region. It means it's going to be geographical branding. Between a product and the identity of a geographical. But you know what? No, no, no. It's the opposite, guys. It is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity. What is the identity of a geographical region? What is it? It's culture, right? Your culture is your identity, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So therefore, that's culture. Now, Geographical branding is the other one, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Geographical branding. What do you say? Am I right or wrong? Okay. You were right. Thank you. Let's continue. And for our last number of today <laughs> i want to know if um, i can have tonight someone here who is on the list well werner mauricio reyes angel is not with us is not among us among us there's no werner right no werner today okay next on the list well yesterday mm -hmm. i was supposed to have sandra elizabeth Will you stay 10 minutes, Sandra? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Thank you. I'm staying with Sandra. Teacher, guys. Werner is not here. Me. Yes. Um, I'm seeing the homework 3.3. Mm -hmm. And it's about uh, this activity. And for geographical branding said, it is used to draw a positive connection between the product and the identity of a geographical region. And that's number, I mean, that's geographical branding. Yeah. So you were right. I told you, you were right. But I was challenging you because I need you to speak. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Selena. Okay, let's continue. I'm staying with Sandra, let's set. Okay, on your next class, you need to prepare a task. You need to prepare an exposition using a national product or service. What are you going to do? 
Well, that is on the same page, okay? You're going to follow these questions, okay? In order to guide you through the branding process of a company or a person, a national famous product, you can find this on, again on page 26. Work in pairs, it says choose, all, choose a well-known product or service in a national market. And then you can answer the questions. You need to create a basic profile of the brand for the product or service you choose. Um, you chose, repeat the process to develop the basics of your personal brand. So we just need to go making ourselves these questions. I'm sorry, I'm just going to share it with you. Okay, what does your business or product do? It's product branding. What does your business or product do? What problem do you solve for your customers? Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? What is the primary message to want, do want, you want to convey to your customers? Oh, transmit, convey. Mm. What are five adjectives, adjective or words that best describe your company? So let's do it together. Just as an example, because tomorrow we're gonna to work on this. What does your business or product do? Think about a famous national brand, guys. Diana? Okay, let's go with Diana, it's okay. So let's go with Diana. What does it do? What does the product do or the business? The snacks. Okay, that's, that's, that's the product nice. or service. But what does it do? They, pro satisfy they, they provide the, the needs. Satisfy. Oh, come on. Eat. Are you from Arena by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Churritos kill your hunger, right? Churritos are very yeah. nutritive. Hunger oh, game. Help me. <laughs> okay, so what does it do? Let me tell you what it does. What churritos, Diana, and all of these things do. They satisfy your craving. What is that? Uh -huh. What? Anxiety? Craving. Craving is something that women get when they are pregnant. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that. <laughs> Craving. I was for. thinking in desire. Yeah, it's like a desire. You know, you feel like eating mango verde a medianoche, right? Mm -hmm. My God, with lemon and a lot of salt. Okay, that's a craving. Mm -hmm. So, churritos, all of this junk uh, food, let's say, satisfy a craving. And I'm sure that Ada knows why. Why do we have this craving? Exactly. Okay. So it satisfies a craving. What problem do you solve for your... What problem do you solve for your customers? <laughs> Don't tell me that the hunger Are problem... they hungry? Ah, uh, come on. No. <laughs> Maybe... You got the idea. No, it's not. <laughs> when I was in the in the school, when I was at school, I bought uh -huh. a churrito and a soda. That's what you used to buy for recreo for your break. Yes. What? In mango. <laughs> or was that your lunch? <gasps> and the oh tour in the night. <laughs> at two at at two a.m. is true. Why do people eat churritos at two a.m.? I mean. Wow, that's not okay. Maybe when they are playing? They are craving, yes, same thing. Who are your th three main competitors? What are the three main competitors or Diana, of Diana? Uh, Bocadelli. Okay, Bocadelli. Sabritas. Uh, Sabritas? Sabritas and... Cheetos? Cheetos in front, Sabritas, I think. 
Is that that's Sabritas too, right? Okay. God, I don't know. Jumis. Jumis. What about Lace? Jumis, okay. Lace no, is I... from no Lace is a uh... Sabritas too. I think Marisela. Jumis Bocadelli and Sabritas? Jumis? Okay. <laughs> Good. What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? Hurry up. Uh, you find Diana with three adjectives. Variety. Variety, okay. Variety, variety. Okay. Um, uh, low, low prices. Low price. Auto, um, aunque te roban, me un montón de yes, en la bolsa. Yes, because it, yes. <laughs> I just wanted to say it, I'm sorry. Accessible. Accessible. That's very important. Their distribution chain is amazing. Okay, guys. You got the Offer. point. So tomorrow we're gonna work preparing an exposition. So your homework tonight is Monday. just tomorrow Saturday. Monday. Monday. Thank you. On Monday, I'm falling asleep. I'm sorry. On Monday, we're going to work on that. So during the weekend, you have two days. Two days to prepare a question, an open question for Monday, and to think about think about a product, a national product that we can break down with all these questions, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good, thank you. Okay. National product. <laughs> national product or a product that uh, we Whatever. can buy in the, in the country? We can buy in our country. Yeah, let's do that. So you can have more options, but do it, please. <laughs> Good night. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good, Good night. night. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin García Seguizabal Martínez. Present teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Hey, Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good. Good night, good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Present, good night. Good night, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Perez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, good good Same to you and your family. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh, hey, ¿cómo sigo su esposo? ¿Qué pasó? Ahí está, ahorita todo vendado, teacher. Mire, dígale, ¿era conocido el perro no? Sí, pero está vacunado. Eh, ah, okay. En enero le toca la siguiente dosis, pero ya vamos a hablar con, con mi cuñado, que es doctor, a ver si, qué le recomienda si lo va, que vaya a vacunarse. Son un montón. No, yo creo que cambiaron eso, fíjese. Bueno, no eh, sé, no sé, no sé si todavía lo sí, vamos a Son 27 nada más. <ríe> sí. Alrededor del ombligo. Sí. Primero Dios. Pero, Por mordida de perro. Sí, Sandra. Sí. No, 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 no son 27, no. son menos. A mí, a mí me mordió hace como dos años un perro y, y a, mí, a, a mí hasta me tuvieron que coser. Me pusieron cinco nada más y en el brazo. Ay, gracias a Dios. Vaya. 
Es, ah, un, mito, es un mito, una leyenda ah, urbana. ¿Y a dónde? ¿En el seguro, que... Sandra? O... En el seguro, en el seguro me las pusieron. Vaya. Sí, a él, a él fue la mano. Vaya Entonces, decirle, ya no, ya no chillé de eso. Mírale, sí, va. ahí lo tengo que ver, con una pobrecito, pastilla. Pobrecito, pobrecito. Ahí está mi hijo, ahí eso va, eso. ¿Y cu cuál mano fue, la izquierda o la derecha? La derecha. O sea, él es diestro. Sí. Ay, no. Sí. Bueno, primero Dios ahí que esté bien. Ya lo voy a revisar bien, porque igual, si no se le... No se le Desinflama. Eh, sí. Sí, porque si se le miraba que se le está inflamando. ¿Tiene orégano? Sí. Hierba agua con orégano y que meta la mano en el orégano y con agua tibia. Se le va a quitar el ah, dolor. Ah, vale. con sí, agua tibia. Ok. Ahorita uh -huh. voy a hacerlo. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, Good night. Bye. Bye, Pitiota. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Ya ve que no solo de Pobre. teacher la hago, vea. Sí, sí, no, también de doctor. Te gustó, es un todólogo, la verdad. Todólogo, no, tampoco. Gracias a Dios, no. No, como no. No, experiencia. Sabe mucho. Sí. Cuando trabajaba en el cine de reforma, salía a las 12 de la medianoche, a veces a la 1, a 2, por estar limpiando las salas. Y me iba a dejar un viejito que, uy, don Chepe, a veces por molestar me llevaba hasta Mariona y me dejaba de último, a mí viviendo cerca del cine. Una vez me llegó a dejar y cerré la puerta de delante del pickup. Con viejito no oía, era sordo. Este, eh, dejé, cerré la puerta y dejé el dedo gordo entre la puerta. Ay. Y arrancó. Y así prendido. Ey, 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 ey le decía y yo. Corriendo detrás. Y se detuvo. Y yo con el dedo hecho pedazos a la uña. Ay, y, y jamás se me olvida que mi abuelita, que en su santa gloria la tenga Dios, me, me inmediatamente hizo eso. Y por eso se me quedó grabado. Hirvió sí. orégano, un montón de orégano en agua. Mete el dedo aquí, me dijo. Híjole, pero eso rápido, rápido se me quitó eh, el dolor. Es eh, eh, buenísimo, es buenísimo. Pero qué bueno que, que él solo fue la mordida y se le inflamó. Pero no, a mí me hicieron cuatro puntadas. Me quedó un hoyito. Ese sí no me lo cosieron, eran tres, tres cicatrices que me quedaron. En la horrible. pierna o el brazo. Eh, por el lado del tobillo, me agarró del pie el perro. Ay, señor. No. Pobre perro, andaba de malas ese día. <risa> Pobre perro. <risa> <Bueno>. <risa> <Sí>. Ok, Sandrita, <risa> ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo le va? Yo la siento que últimamente se me ha apartado sí. de la manada. Fíjese que es que tuve eh, al principio, las primeras tres semanas, sí, eh, bastantes problemas, problemas y, y no estuve en mi casa, uh -huh. por eso no, no me conectaba, eh, ah, okay. no conectaba la cámara porque había demasiada interferencia, el micrófono siempre lo apagaba por, porque mucho ruido, uh -huh. entonces ahora me siento totalmente perdida con este tema. Eh, siempre estoy guaris, brandy, guaris, tal cosa. Sí, sí, de veras. Y yo... ajá. ajá, ajá, sí, ahora me explicaron en uh -huh. el grupo. Uh -huh. Y este, estoy escuchando muchos videos en uh -huh. inglés porque uh -huh. eh, tengo que ir pensando en inglés. El problema que tengo ahorita es que voy traduciendo. Y cuando traduzco literalmente, uah, son errores. ¿Cómo saben que esos Erro son errores? Ah, porque eh, me corrigen, porque me corrigen. Entonces es por eso que yo... Ah, porque okay. voy pensando y voy... Uh -huh. Ok, yo le recomendaría que, bueno, si le queda chance un ratito el domingo el sábado que... Okay. Vea los videos anteriores. Eh, y si lo ha notado, ya no estamos ocupando español solo cuando se me sale algún chiste, uh -huh. mal, mal chiste a mí. Eh, mala costumbre, perdón, y la tengo que ir quitando porque vamos avanzando más y más. Los temas están interesantísimos. Yo amo esto, les decía desde que los conocí. O sea, eh, me encanta eso. Y no es que lo sepa todo, sino que ya tanto año de estar impartiendo estos cursos y he conocido mucha gente que está en esto y, y se emocionan también y entonces yo me, me he llegado a, uh -huh. a contagiar un poco de esos uh -huh. temas 
Entonces, eh, eh, sí le invito a eso para que vea cómo han sido las otras clases, ¿verdad? Y todo, y agarre uh -huh. la onda con los temas, porque así le uh -huh. pueden llegar. ¿En qué área es que está usted, Sandra? ¿En qué, qué trabaja? En eh, la parte académica de la universidad. Uh -huh. Ajá, de, no. Perdón, ¿de cuál universidad? Me, que, que... Era, era Francisco David. Ay, no le creo. Sí, no, no me vaya a buscar en los archivos hoy. Ay, estudió. Sí, se gasta tercer año y medio de relaciones. De relaciones internacionales, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ay, desearía saber. Yo creo que tengo que hacer dos años y medio. Ya me absorbió el siguiente ah, pensión. Sí, sí, ya. Le tocaría. Dos, por lo menos dos años y medio, tres ya. Uh -huh. Pero nunca es tarde, tal vez. No, tal vez pues sí, vez. pero... Se pero así como veo que va... Uh -huh. Más trabajo y tengo en lugar de tener más tiempo libre. Así se ve. Ahora, de hecho, lo vi, ahora lo noté un poco cansado. Es que es lo que le decía, estoy desde las 11 de la noche de ayer trabajando. Ah, sí, pues. pero no, todavía aguanto, todavía estoy pollón. Sí. Entonces, Sandrita, a ver. Uh -huh. Me equivoco al hablar, pero eso es lo normal, estoy traduciendo. Uh -huh, Mi cabeza. Sí, literal. Sabe que hay alguien. Mire, he conocido cinco personas que juran y juran. En mi vida he conocido cinco personas que me juraron que habían aprendido inglés o les había ayudado muchísimo la terapia auditiva en la noche. Y de hecho encontré uh -huh. hace poco en YouTube, por eso me, se me vino la mente. Yo escucho eh, sonidos de lluvia para dormirme. Ah, igual. Entonces, lo mismo, casualmente encontré eso, que el sonido de la lluvia, el sonido de piano al fondo, y van diciendo, repitiendo oraciones, uh -huh. ya, so, uh -huh. con, con una voz, no como la mía, sino que si bien. Es tranquila. bien, no, es bien tenue, es súper tranquila, y son como mantras. Cabal, exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé, a mí no, no sé si me funcionaría eso, tal vez. En mi sí, caso, pues. es super... Ajá, este, como yo estaba escuchando algunos videos, eh, cómo hacer para no ir pensando o traduciendo. Uh -huh. eh, y si sí, de repente me apareció uno y dice que te puede, dice, te puede ayudar mientras duermes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Al final la mente es súper poderosa y eso es cierto, uh -huh. el cerebro no descansa cuando uno duerme. Entre un otro estado, sí. pero es como que apaga todo, ¿eh? Ajá, exacto. Y no se queda sí ahí vigilando nada más. Uh -huh. Increíble. Eso es lo mismo, uh -huh. ¿no? Primero Dios que, que, que podamos avanzar en eso y de nuevo, cualquier cosa que necesite, avíseme. No se sienta okay. tímida. Así le pido, trate de, de participar más. Mire, Ada, uh -huh. Ada, Ada se equivoca un montón. Sí. Y, ella, y ella lo sabe, pero yo ya hablé con ella. Le dije, equivóquese, ya eso viene. Le digo, que no es un curso de, de, de español a inglés, pues le digo. O sea, ¿y cuándo uh -huh. vamos, vamos a pasar esa brecha? Cuando usted hable. Uh -huh. Exacto. Exacto. Ya va a ver a partir del lunes. Ya va a ver. Hey, ok. <risa> Bien, que pase una sí. feliz noche. Muchas gracias por acompañarme. Gracias. Gracias a usted. Good night.